there, children. How are you today? Are you happy to be in my class again? Great, because I am excited to share with you another lesson. But before that, kids, let us have a short song, okay, about the external parts of our body, which we had learned last time. The external parts are the ones that we can see from the outside. I have two hands, the left and the right. Hold them up high, so clean and bright. Clap them softly, one, two, three. Clean little hands are good to see. Yay! Great job! Hey, are you excited, children, to see what's inside your body? Wow! Today, I will show you what's inside of your head. Can you touch your head? You know what's inside your head? Have you seen what's inside your head? Today, you will see it. You want to see it? Okay, are you ready? At the count of three. One, two, and three. Here is my magic tablet. This magic tablet will show you what's inside your body. But today, we will just have one internal body part. Are you ready? Let me put it on my head. <gasps> Can you see that, children? Ooh, what's inside my head? Can you see it? Ooh, what do you call that thing inside my head? You know what is it? Okay. That is our brain. How do you call that? Brain. Very good. Let me explain to you why we have the brain and what's the importance of brain to us. Our brain, children, is the thinking and the feeling part of our body. Okay, we think using our brain and we can feel things because of the brain. When you touch something pointed and your finger got hurt, the message will be sent to your brain and the brain will tell you it hurts, it hurts. That way you say, ouch! This brain feels. This brain tells you what to do. When there is food in front of you, how would you know if you're going to eat? Your nose would be able to smell the food and the smell will be sent to your brain and the brain will say mmm that smells yummy and your eyes upon looking at the food will send message to the brain and the brain will say that's food and you may eat that food how about your hands ah the brain will tell your hands move hands move hands you get the spoon and the fork so that you would be able to eat. All parts of the body are being moved by that brain inside your head. So, what's inside your head? Yes, the brain. We cannot live without the brain. You cannot stay that way. You cannot run, you cannot move, you cannot sing, you cannot write, you cannot do anything. You would not be able to do a lot of things and all things with a brain dead. If your brain is dead, if your brain will not work, you cannot do anything. Because with the brain, you can think. With the brain, you can feel. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson today about the brain. Tomorrow, we are going to learn about another internal body part. So children, take note. Take care of your head because inside your head is the most important organ of your body and that is your brain.